Who pop want cash, car pop want giant ants, I want guns. Who pop want people in vehicles and RPGs. Jetpacks. You son of a bitch! I mean! Earth Defense Force Iron Rain dropped at the back end of last year. Had it on my radar for ages. Didn't get around to sitting down with it. Bit of a confession to make here. Earth Defense Force is a real staple for couch co-op and console gaming. It's got a die-hard fan base. You'll find that out if you say bad things about it. EDF, it's crazy. I really thought that the previous games was seriously lacking some major stuff, like visuals being one of them. But this one has just really cleaned up its act. It's a full-on AAA game. Still with that campy weirdness going on, but it loves to perform. It's absolutely beautiful. Sounds, looks, runs, amazing. All that said and done, it isn't The Division 2 by any stretch of the imagination. And it does come with its caveats, with its visuals. A lot of people will take one look at this and just say, hell no. If you've never seen an Earth Defense Force game again, then this will be like a bit of a shock visually to you. But if you are if you know the series, then you'll know it's, it's had a huge amount of polish with everything. It's looking like a proper game. That's a really patronizing thing to say to the EDF audience, but you guys know what I'm talking about. This is seriously cool and loads of customization and some great integration with the two-player modes, etc. They say those heat rays are about yeah! Yeah, as you guessed, I'm the screen on the right. Now, let's talk about how this game is looking with the split. Now, one of the greatest things it's done without even consulting you is to say, yes, we need a vertical split. Of course, we goddamn need a vertical split. And it's beautiful, works totally awesomely. Borderlands 3, you, you slags. I can't believe you took that off us. But anyway, you'll see the grade of the graphics step down here. And you, if you look in the distance, you'll see what I'm talking about with some of this blocky resolution that occurs on the draw distance. Totally expected. Look at the activity. Look at this activity. So, Cosa has a superpower. Not fair. It's a very familiar gameplay model. It reminds me of Crackdown 1. Not the new Crackdown. <laughs> but the original. With its floatiness when it comes to the jumping and just that airiness that you have around you because you're such a small sort of sprite on screen. Now one of the major pulls of the series and there's always been there is the weapon upgrade system and pulling all this cool tech and upgrading your character, putting a jetpack on and getting that your own color and very customizable. This is huge or online co-op game as well. So yeah, it, because it's a Japanese game as well, massive on getting those cosmetics going but also getting those technical perks going and thumbs up for having a very weird car scene the campaign the ante just keeps getting upped and upped and upped and the engine just deals with it it deals with all of destruction on all of the buildings I mean take note some of you brand new AAA games particularly the division 2 that doesn't have a single brick crumble in front of you you can level whole skyscrapers in this game think gorilla the game on Mars gorilla faction faction gorilla fuck you but is it any good? Is it worth the money? Because at the moment, you're probably thinking it looks like a shallow sort of military sci-fi shooter. Yeah, it, it hell of a is worth the money, but there's a point to notice. Hold on a minute. Yeah, that was like a carriage, like a street carriage that went past me. Look at the destruction on the right screen, uh, on the right of the right screen there. That was beautiful. You should click that back. That was beautiful. Anyway, the point I want to make on the price is that it's at a discount currently. It's like 50% discount, maybe a bit less. It's 24 quid, 24 99 it's 25 quid. This game retails at kind of nearly full price, like 40 quid. So if you're thinking, blimey, I really like what I'm seeing, but I just can't warrant that spend, go and get it now, because it's 50% off. And to tell you the truth, that was my hook as well. The other hook was obviously flying around in a jetpack and RPG and giant robots in the head with my mate. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better. They've got like sci-fi lasers. It's cheesy. It's funny. The dialogue's awesome. It, it makes you smile, this game. It, it just punches you in the face with its visuals and activity. I want that, you know, especially in a split screen game, especially to sort of get rid of all those inhibitions and just enjoy yourself. Giant 
sometimes it can look a mess, especially in the distant shots and especially if you've got the split screen on. But the single player is a flawless experience and the split screen experience really is above par what we're getting at the moment with a lot of other AAA games. So this is one of those titles that I would tread with caution when it comes to introducing or playing with a non-gamer. It's probably a no-brainer no that, but it's just not very welcoming to people who don't know anything about the series or are a bit unfamiliar with third-person shooters. But if you're into like GTA or if you play The Division 2 or, or anything like that, you're just going to feel so at home here and you're going to feel so liberal with that jetpack and all these buildings and all that freedom. You're not tied to the hip by any stretch. The major welcome is how cool the UI system is now, how unconfusing it is. And they've got a nice little diorama for all the enemies. I'm big on that, and this game's big on that as well. It loves varying on the different insects, and it gives you out and out giant, massive alien robots. I haven't shown you any major boss fights or huge sort of set pieces because they are spoiler territory. They're huge. The campaign is mind blowing how big these things get and how many of them are. So, closing comments. I love this game to bits. Is it worth full price? Probably not because it's 40 quid. Should you go and get it on discount? Totally. Should you get it if you've got no, definitely got no one to play it with ever? Yeah, if you're a fan of the series. You have to be a fan of the series. This is a bit like the Monster Hunter thing. It, veterans love everything from the series regardless. And that will be the case with this one. You down there.